if x squared minus 4x minus 12 is less than 0, then what is the solution set? So first notice that this quadratic here can be factored. So let's do that. We have two sets of binomials and using essentially the FOIL method in reverse, we know that the first terms of these binomials multiply to get x squared. And since the coefficient is 1, each of these would just be x, and then we know that the last terms multiply to get negative 12. So let's look at the possible numbers that can get negative 12. We know that 3 times 4, where one of these is negative, gives us negative 12. It's also true for 6 and 2, and it's true for 1 and 12. And remember that the negative could be on either of these numbers. And then the next step is to figure out how to get this minus 4. We know that one of these pairs is going to add up to get negative 4. So let's think which combination of these would allow us to get negative 4. If we had a minus 6 and a plus 2, those would multiply to give negative 12 and add to give minus 4. So our numbers here are minus 6 and plus 2. And this is less than 0. And to figure out when this quadratic is less than 0, it might be easiest to first make a number line. And that way we can get a better understanding about what's going on. So we know that if we put in an x value of 6 here and an x value of negative 2 here, it will make this equal to 0. So we can mark this on the number line that at 6, we get a 0, I'll put in x, and at negative 2, we get a 0. And now we just have to focus what happens on either side of these x's. So let's say we put in a negative 3, and for x, we get negative 3 minus 6, which is negative 9. Here we'd get negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1. So all of these numbers will give us a negative and a negative which we know multiplies to be positive. So none of these numbers and going all the way to negative infinity will be less than zero. So let's look at numbers bigger than six. If we put in a seven, we'd have seven minus six, which is one, and we'd have seven plus two, which is nine. So over here, we'd have a positive times a positive, which gives us a positive. And between the two zeros, Let's check for 0. So we'd have 0 minus 6 times 0 plus 2, or in other words, negative 6 times 2. So we'd have a negative number times a positive number, which we know is negative. So the only numbers that would give us a result less than 0 are between negative 2 and 6, though they don't include the endpoints of negative 2 and 6, since it has to be less than 0, not equal to 0. So we can say that our answer is that x would have to be smaller than 6 and bigger than negative 2. And another way to write this is an open parenthesis, since it doesn't include the negative 2, from negative 2, comma, all the way to 6. And again, we close it with an open parenthesis. So either of these answers would be acceptable.